Oh, welcome back everybody to another episode of Dishonored. I think this is episode four. I'm pretty sure I got it long in the, wrong in the last episode. Uh, this episode will actually have audio because I didn't realize the entire last one, uh, the game didn't have audio. It was just me talking. Um, so that was really inconvenient. But now, you guys can hear it. Congratulations, you have now grown ears. Um, so we are going to... Hello, Admiral Havelock. Uh, we are gonna do our little routine of going to sleep and see if anything interesting happens afterwards. Um, I usually don't, you know, record something like my character going to sleep, but uh, last time we entered an entirely new, like, magical dimension, so. All right. Do we still have a door? We do. All right, so I have to talk to Admiral Havelock. Let's also quickly, oh, there's new runes. Look at that. Time to go on an adventure. Hey, climb that. Uh, all right. Let's, that's so fun to do. How do I get down there? They're like right underneath me. Sewer access has been achieved. With the power of, of fish possession. Uh, let's crank that wheel. Now, is that gonna stay open? Yes, it is! Nice. That's the fish I possessed. He's dead now, because he can't handle a human being inside his brain. Alright. Um. Oh, is there, like, another point of access? Interesting. Okay, copper wire. Nice. I'm rich. Um. What? How much have I had today? Nope. Alright. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, let's investigate the boat. Some eggs. Don't mind if I do. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna dig through the sewers and get back to you guys. I'm sorry, but I won't be here for the next meeting. Or ever again, for that matter. What happened here was unnatural and makes me sick to recall. I left the result of our labors here for you to keep, but I expect that the rats will consume it before you return. Goodbye. That note was right alongside a rune. Oh, there's another one very nearby. Oh, it's like right there. Nice. That is a fantastic. A bolt! Nice. Coins, coins. Uncrouch. Uh, carry on this way. That's a weeper, is what they're called. Uh, they are infected, plague-ridden people. Uh, I had to kill him, because he's like a zombie now. Uh, can't get through here. Doesn't even look like a rat could get through there. There's this whole thing that I think I need to do from up top. Uh, so I'm gonna go figure that out and I'll catch up with you guys. I trust you remember Martin, an overseer before. And yeah. Perhaps again someday soon. Hopefully. I owe you thanks for my rescue. Indeed. You've given us a glimmer of hope, Corporal. Good. Because we've gotten what we've wanted from Campbell's journal. You've done it. Great. We know where Emily Caldwin is being held. The Golden Cat, of all places. A bathhouse for aristocrats. Little better than a cursed brothel. Oh, but no. There's an unfortunate twist. It appears that Pendleton's own kinsmen stand in our way. The twins, Morgan and Custis. Not only are they controlling Emily, but they have the controlling parliamentary votes we so desperately need. Yes, the Pendletons have to die. But most importantly, Emily must be brought here safely so we can protect her until the Lord Regent and his entourage have been dealt with. Great. Sounds like a plan. He's waiting for you on the dock. He's asked to brief you personally. I think it's best. All right, goal. Kill some hoes, rescue Emily. Got it. Seems a little uh, interesting to have to travel to a brothel. I uh, hope YouTube doesn't get mad at me, um, but we'll see. Lord Pendleton, 
I've asked to speak to you myself. Yes, yes, yep. You see, I'm sending you to kill my older brothers, Morgan and Custis. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They're horrible men. Good. It's true, as you may have heard. Cruel beyond words. Oh, okay. Further. Cool. Take a swig. My brothers are close allies to the Lord Regent, and as long as they are in Parliament, we cannot gather the votes we'll need to stop the Lord Regent from further consolidating his power. These days, they're best known for exploiting their favor with him to cheat others out of their wealth. Let's just say that not every family evicted in quarantine for having the plague actually has the plague. Great. I warned my brothers in every way I could. I really did. But they never did listen to me. They'll be at the Golden Cat tonight at their usual revels. Great. They'll be protected by the city watch. Mm -hmm. So it'll be dangerous. Great. Now go. Please do it before I change my mind. All right. See ya. Enjoy your booze to cope. Great coping mechanism, by the way. Last check. No runes or bone charms. All right. Uh, and let's see. Do I have the necessary? I do. I could level some things up. Possession of humans would be pretty good. Uh, not gonna lie. Uh, Devouring Swarm, not really worried about these kind of things. I'm trying to stick to kind of my main, uh, my main stuff. I, I want to upgrade in s little specialties instead of branching out too much. Uh, let's go with Possession. Possession level two. I can now possess humans. All right, Samuel, I'll take, take me away. Cat when you're ready. Great. I'm ready. Lord Pendleton enough times, believe me. Mm -hmm. That's concerning. Put my mask on. Almost put it on the wrong way. Don't mind me. All right, you aim the heart at. Oh, okay, cool. The loyalists believe that Emily is being held at the Golden Cat uh, by the corrupt aristocratic Pendleton brothers. These men are Lord Pendleton's despised older brothers, twins, and they are loyal to the tyrannical Lord Regent. Find Emily at the Golden Cat and eliminate Lords Custis and Morgan Pendleton. Great, can diddly do. Sounds like a job for me and I'll get me you only. as close as I can to the Golden Cat, Corvo. You might have to go the rest of the way on your own. Great. The entrance is near Holger Square. The main thing is to make sure that little girl, Emily, gets back all safe and sure. That is Them true. Them Pendletons are there, so I'm guessing there'll be a lot of guards. Slackjaw might have some ideas on helping you get inside the cat if he don't kill you. This here is his territory. He and his Bottle Street gang hole up at the old Dunwall Whiskey Factory. They sell the elixir that folks use to fight off the plague. I'll lay low, but keep an eye out for you. You mean the elixir I poisoned? Bad. Good luck to you. Yikes. I know Emily must mean a lot to you. Ah, uh, yeah, that might not go well. Be careful going up the street, Corvo. A river hand I know pulled up alongside me last night and said there's one of those watchtowers on Clavering now. I guess you getting rid of Campbell shook up the Lord Regent. Alrighty. I think this is the exact same place I was previously. Alright. Uh, your actions affect the city. A high number of deaths results in more rats and weepers. Different reactions from your allies and darker, darker final outcomes. I see. So I should try and keep murder to a minimum? Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, we don't want to mess with that watchtower. Bone charms, bone charm, bone charm. Alright. I'll uh, catch you guys when interesting stuff happens. Take it. Get him while he's taking a piss. At the very least, his bladder's empty now. Alright. Uh, anything of use in here? Don't think so. There we go. And... Aha! Forgot to put the YouTube recording on. Uh, talking to Slackjaw. He Way might have worked for me. It. There ain't nobody worth killing around here except those two Pendletons over at the Golden Cat. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm right, ain't I? See, Slackjaw knows. 
Great. Them boys are twins. Rich, mean, and weird. Awesome. Worse than most of their ilk. They've been laying low there a while. Not sure why. There's a lot of security at the Golden Cat tonight, though. Special guests and the like. But you're gonna walk in there, dressed like that, and kill the Pendleton brothers? Maybe I got a better way to take care of them, too. Okay. If you're doing something for me first, understand. All right. What do you got? Someone, I don't know who, is killing my men, taking my territory, stealing my goods. Might be a fellow name of Galvani. I sent my best man to investigate, but he went missing and... Well, now I need someone to find what happened to him. Great. Go to this Galvani's place. He lives mm -hmm. nearby mm -hmm. off Been Clavering there. Boulevard. You do that for me and I'll get your better way into the Golden Cat. It's a good thing he doesn't know that I'm the one who has caused literally all of his problems. Uh, do I? Uh, man, I forgot how to open my inventory. Alright, uh, 10 and 10. Okay, so I can't actually get Elixir. Um, great, well, I guess we have a mission. I wonder if his men are still going to be, like, upset with me. I guess we'll find out. I imagine they will be, but who knows? Maybe they've heard I'm not that bad. Or maybe they've heard just how bad I am. Oh, this is open now. Nice. Hog. Alright, what is this? Food heals you slightly more. Not really concerned about that. Alright, is that it? That's it. Time to uh, teleport off. Man, I love the the blink in this game. It's so much fun. I should get the longer range blink. That's what I should do. But alas, oh, this can get power. I wonder what that does. All right, go to the bottle store. Wait, is this where I'm supposed to go? Ah, figure my stuff out. Uh, yeah, okay, this is where I'm supposed to go. Sweet. Uh, go to the bottle street. He's got the Shoot, I haven't taste, been recording. So I've been told by some of the ladies. Got some pretty fancy stuff locked away at his place. And the only thing preventing me from nabbing all that loot is the combination to a safe. Of course, the Pendletons have been camped out there for months, too. Not sure why. So that means a lot of the city watch and other soldier types. Bring me that combination, my masked friend, and then I take care of the Pendleton brothers. Just like that. You ain't never even gonna touch them. And I promise, I won't kill them, and no one will ever see them again. Now if that ain't a deal, Slackjaw don't know what is. Okay, but like, I still need to get Emily out safely first. Alright, so basically making another deal with Slackjaw. If I get him a art dealer safe combination, uh, he'll neutralize the Pendleton brothers. Which is great. So yeah, I'm gonna go and try and do that. Uh, catch you guys later. Found Granny Rags. Granny Rags is hanging out uh, over under this, like, almost sewage area. Under city tunnels. Granny Rags! Have you seen him? The handsome one with the beautiful dark eyes. I just want to tell him I'm doing my part. Yes, Granny Rags is doing her part. Tell him, won't you? If you see him. All right, what do you gentlemen got? callers don't come around like they used to. You took care of it for me, didn't you? That's I did. Nice. That was me. Who's that? I can't see. No, don't go. Let Granny Rags tell you a story. A story? It won't cost you anything at all. 
Which would you like? The history of the great city of Dunwall? No, no, that's not for you, no. You want the tale of Empress Jessamine Caldwin. Regal, fair-minded. All right, cool. Bye, Granny. All right. It's a bone charm right there. Nice. What is it? Uh, drop assassinated. Someone gives you a bit of mana. Nice. Climb slightly faster. Don't really care about that. Um, all right, pistol, bullets, whatever. Can't get bullets. Uh, I'm in the hotel as we speak. Um, I honestly forget what the mission was in the hotel. Oh, yeah. Ah! Oh. I know I need to get a, a safe code, a safe combination. Right? Pretty sure that's my goal. I mean, I can get to the golden cat. What am I doing for Slackjaw? Uh, optional. Oh, just travel there via the chair hotel. Uh, locate the art dealer in the golden cat. I see. Um, okay. Yeah, let's try to do that. I have to just find the art dealer. Uh, let's uh, go. Oh, yikes. YouTube, don't look. Alright. Well, that's going to do it for today's episode. If you liked it, hit that like button down below. If you didn't, leave a like. Uh, leave a comment down below as to what you can do. I can do better. Wow, words are hard. Uh, without further ado, have a lovely rest of your day, evening, morning, afternoon, and night. Uh, bye bye